welcome back students so uh, we have just seen uh, this plot in our previous class and now we will do some more defined functions okay let us take a new tab and define an entirely new function and see how the curve turns out to be so import numpy as np this is the first step that you have to do always whenever you are dealing with numpy in python since we will be seeing curves so we will import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay and we have to optimize the functions parameters so hence we will require skypy optimize import curve fit okay so our libraries are being written now we will do the input section i hope you remember the steps okay so the input section means i will take or consider two arrays two numpy arrays of uh, the input data that i'm going to plot in the uh, curve that i'm going to plot in the uh, defined function in the format of curve so x is equal to say np dot array i have i consider any random values so you can take as per your wish uh say minus 6 minus 4 minus 2 minus 1 okay 8 6 4 2 minus 1 and then 0 i'll take 1 2 4 6 and 8 these are my x parameters x values corresponding value of y i will consider another numpy array so <clears throat> are you following students so consider any uh, values of your wish i'm just taking haphazardly Uh, see how much have I taken? How many numbers? Okay, so three more numbers I will consider. One to five, see, and a smaller one. Okay, so my input section is also over. This is my input section. Uh, input data. okay then i have the define fitting functions part so defining the fitting function okay so i'll define say a uh, define uh, f of x comma a comma b comma c okay suppose i want to take an exponential function over here it's my uh, choice so you can take any other function suppose i'm taking an exponential function a uh for any exponential function you have to again write n p in front of uh, exp that is exponential and for that i'm saying say minus b into say x minus c to the power 2 say so i'll take okay suppose this is my defined function my function my user defined function okay into exponential minus b to the power sorry b into x minus c to the power 2 fine then comes the optimization part so optimization 
you don't have to write all these sections you just write all the uh, this essential lines of the programs i am just writing in so that you can follow in a better manner so you require optimization section over here you will write you remember this part fine the optimization is over and the ultimate part is your plot and show so for that we have to write plt dot plot of x comma y suppose if i write over here now i hope you remember these are like the colors and the uh, dots you want to give or the uh, any shape triangle dot square whichever shape you wish to give your points uh, in the curve you can mention it over here finally plt dot show to see your curve so this is uh, our entire user defined program another user defined program i can give a title over here as well program 2 for fitting by user defined function we have already done another program so this is now you have to save your program so i'll save my program so i have saved my program with the name program 2 curve fitting and i will see how it turns out so just press this run button some error has occurred in the line yes i can see a spelling mistake is there so you see it's so easy to find out the error as well in your programs because you are on the same frame so let us move on to that line uh, where i have made the mistake yes or fine save your program and rerun it nobody has said this are you following i have made the mistake in spelling so here comes your curve after a spelling mistake is rectified a curve is being formed a beautiful curve is seen here i just extend this part so that you can see okay so the values were like uh, minus 8 till 0 and then from this side positive values this side negative values and as i have taken in this format so the curve is coming accordingly and i have taken this uh, symbol so it's showing in the dotted form okay now i guess you are able to uh, understand in a better way what does this mean and how the curves come and all okay fine our next curve will be uh, a homework for you so show me a set of uh, with a curve with a set of data using the function lin space okay as i have mentioned here yes as i have mentioned the input data in the format of an array 
NPID and I've taken the data over here in one dimensional array form. But I want you all to generate a data set with the help of lin space and then you plot the graph and show it to me. So this is your homework. In the next class, I wish to see your graphs. Okay. And we will discuss further. Thank you.